All right, what is going on guys? Today we're gonna to learn how to pick a lock. So what you will need is a lock pick, a tension rod, and a lock. But today we are going to use a clear practice padlock, comb rakes, I'm um, not comb rakes, sorry, just comb keys and jiggly keys. And um, so first things first, get your tension rod and lock pick. And if you haven't already, pick up a set which might help. I can link some cheap and some decent ones in the comments. But yeah, so, and also get a um, clear practice padlock as it might help as well. So let's get started. So, here we have the barrel, the locking bar, and the shackle. Here are the pins, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and the springs connected to the pins. pins. So basically what we want to do is lift up each pin to its setting position and once it hits a setting position then we can open up the barrel but the setting position will be in roughly a different order so you'll be feeling for the set and once you feel the set you'll go back through and try and set the other ones so we'll do that now first put your tension rod in place Just readjusting the camera so you guys can see it better. Alright. Pin 1 won't set, pin 2 won't set, pin 3 won't set, pin 4 won't set, pin 5, pin 6, pin 3 set, oh pin 4 sorry. Alright, pin 3 was the last one set. And now, we're open. So basically, once you've set all your pins, you can turn the barrel. You can use combs if you know the exact pin structure, as you can see. So we'll shove this in. And then this will bypass every single pin just try and get it into the actual pins. I think I'm on the side of the pins, not underneath them. All right, there we go. And now, as you can see, we've lift, lifted all the pins past their setting point. They're fully open. And you gotta be careful doing this, because if you go all the way, some locks may break and the pins may fall into grooves and just completely destroy the lock. So once you bypass all the pins, Bam, open. And now we can pull that key out. Lock it again. Let's use a jiggler key. Alright, looks good. Get it in there, jiggle about, back and forth. There we go, we're open. They require a bit of finesse and understanding of how to use them. And now we'll go on to these. We have two practice locks. This one has two pins and three pins. So we'll start with the two pin. So this will be very easy. We're just looking for both the pins to bind. One won't bind, two bound, and yep, we're opened. I lifted the first one, I lifted the second at the same time. All right, and for the three pin, first is loose, second is loose. There we go. <clears throat> when I lifted up the third pin, it locked into place in the first and second pin also bound at the same time so that is now open and now we can go to the real thing here we have a master padlock which has three pins in it and when you come to real padlocks you have to be careful because that's where stuff like this comes in these are four different shapes and sizes of pins. 
and um, these are called security pins. And basically that makes it a lot harder to feel and pick and you will have to learn and get used to those kind of pins before you can really pick them. So, all right, <clears throat> so grab your tension wrench, put that in. First pin set, second pin set, third pin set, and we're open. Simple, easy, and with a bit of practice in learning the feelings of it all, you should definitely be able to do it yourself. I'll link some cheap and affordable, and maybe some nicer lockpick sets in the description. And I'll link a practice lock, and I'll also link some actual Sparrows practice locks, which have different amounts of pins in them, and even a barrel lock, so you can take the pins out and replace them to however many pins you want in whatever kinds of pins you want. So yeah, it's all just practice and learning the feelings, but if anyone has any questions, don't, don't forget to comment and leave your question in the comments. But just remember, go through, try and bind each pin, and once a pin's bound, go back through and test every pin again, and you should eventually get it. It's not too hard at all. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.